Hi, I'm Monica and let's talk about some of my most anticipated books for 2023. I'm going to try my best to describe each book in under a minute or less because there's 15 books I want to get through and I don't want to have this video be very long. And this list is going to be in release date order, so so organized. And my first pick is Hellbent by Leigh Bardugo and this one is releasing January 10th. This one is an adult fantasy with occult themes as well as dark academia elements. It's the sequel to Ninth House which I am very very motivated to do a reread before this year is up. I'm super excited to get back into the world of Alex Stern with her ability to see ghosts as well as her tragic past. Also we have secret societies at ER University and mentions of monsters and hell and I really really want to know what happened to Darlington. That's all I'm going to say about that because I'm going to have more of my thoughts in my ninth house reading blog that will be up whenever that is up and I'll link that above and in the description box when that's uploaded. Next on my list is Chain of Thorns by Cassandra Clare. This one is releasing January 31st and this is a YA fantasy series. Chain of Thorns is the last and third book in the Last Hours trilogy which is the fourth main series in the Shadowhunters universe. We're set in the early 1900s in Edwardian London and we're following a new group of teenager shadow hunters and they're actually the children of other shadow hunter couples that we have seen previously. I love the introduction of the Mary Thieves, Lucy, Cordelia, James, and all the others. I can't wait to get back into this world of demon fighting. With Cassie Clare, I have seen that her writing has improved immensely over the years and I really don't know how this last book will be going and I'm really excited to see how it ends. The next book on this list is The Last Tale of Flower Bride by Rakshani Chokshi. I think that's how you say your name, sorry if I butchered it. And this one is releasing February 14th. So this is actually an adult debut novel and I have previously enjoyed The Star Touched Queen by this author and I'm really curious to see how her writing compares to an adult fantasy. And this one is described as a gothic fantasy book and honestly the cover caught my attention and I was really curious. This one is described as the blurb says, a marriage that is unraveled by dark secrets, a friendship cursed to end in tragedy, and the danger of believing in fairy tales. So it sounds very very good and I think it will come with a lot of betrayals, unexpected truths, and maybe, maybe murder. Next up is another adult fantasy and this is A Day of Fallen Night by Samantha Shannon and this is actually the prequel to the Priory of the Orange Tree book. And yes, I thought this book was just simply a standalone and I actually got an e-arc of this prequel coming out on February 28th and just coming fresh off finishing Priory. I am ready to learn more about this world and its history but I think it's going to be long because I checked English Reads and this prequel is at around 900 pages. <laughs> That's a lot. But I'm hoping to find more characters that I like and to go really in depth with them because that is more of Samantha Shannon's style of writing. And I just took a quick glance at the description and I noticed that there is a similar main character in this prequel that has the same name. Sabran, so I hope there's nothing too confusing in this new book that's coming up. And I also did want to read some more fantasy romance series and this one came on my radar and it is The Foxglove King by Hannah F. Witten and it releases on March 7th. This one is about a girl who escaped a cult at 13 years old and for the past decade she has been on the run but that's a little bit difficult because she has death magic. Now at 23 years old she gets discovered and she's taken by a group of warrior monks to the sainted king who wants to use her magic. Now at court she has a potential few love interests. There is the duke turned monk bodyguard as well as the king's heir that are both interested in her. There's also politics, religions, and of course forbidden romance. So I'm saying absolutely yes to all of those elements and I'm really excited for this one. Next up is a sci-fi that is releasing on March 16th. This is Defiant by Brandon Sanderson. 
This is the fourth and final book in the Skyward series. Given how I was quite neutral about book three in the series, I'm still really excited to see how everything wraps up for Spencer, her human friends, and also her alien allies. Because we did get so much world building in books one to three as well as the novellas, and I really want to see that paid off in the final book, but I'm pretty sure Brandon Sanderson will deliver on this. Then on April 11th, we have The Untethered Sky by Fonda Lee. This is actually an adult fantasy novella and I was captured by the cover on this one. I've only read Jade City by Fonda Lee, but with Jade City, I was very impressed by the writing and the world that she made. So I'm kind of interested to see how a short story slash novella would come from her and I actually didn't read the description on this one but I do think it would be a nice short and sweet story about a fantasy character in a fantasy world. The tagline does say that it's about the pursuit of obsession at all costs so that really does sound good. Hi again and yes I'm filming this video on another day so let's just continue with the list. Next up is an adult romance that is releasing on April 11th and this is Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. And so far from all the books that I have read from Abby, I've really enjoyed them. I've read A Part of Your World as well as the Happy Ever After playlist. They both made me laugh and cry, so I really like fun in romance books. This one is about two doctors who very much dislike each other, especially for Dr. Brianna Ortiz, who is recently divorced and trying to find a match donor for a kidney for her brother. And well, who do we know is the match is our love interest, Dr. Jacob Maddox. With that, I think I just really want cozy romantic moments and comedic moments as well and I really don't mind a cheesy line or two. Then we have another romance coming out on April 25th and this is Happy Place by Emily Henry. I'm hoping to really like this one because Emily Henry books are either a hit or miss for me so I really do have high expectations for this one. This one is centered around Harriet and Wynne who seem like the most perfect couple ever and when they are going on their annual trip with their group of friends, they don't really tell them a massive thing that has happened for them that they broke up. So they decide to pretend to be a couple again for this one week trip. My prediction for this is that they will end up falling in love together again and I really hope that does happen but let's see how this another vacation centered Emily Henry book would pay out. Next we have Witch King by Martha Wells and this one is releasing on May 30th. While researching for this video I did come across this book Witch King a couple times and I'm just very intrigued by the cover and with the concept of it. I haven't read any of other Martha Wells books before and I know she's written the Murder Bot series which is a sci-fi series but in this one we are following Kai who is a demon from the underworld who has been assassinated and why I said that with quotation marks is because now Kai is being awakened again when someone tries to steal his powers and now Kai needs to figure out what the heck happened to him. This sounds like such a super fun book and I'm really excited for more epic fantasy standalones which I am trying to read more of. Next on June 13th we have Love Theoretically by Ali Hazelwood. This is another rom-com stem centric type of book. I still need to read Love on the Brain but I'm still really excited for this one that's coming out. We're following Elsie who is an adjunct theoretical physics professor and she's just hoping to land tenure but in the meantime to make ends meet Elsie decides to offer services to be a free girlfriend. Then Jack shows up who is an experimental physicist which they have like a rivalry with the theoretical physicist. Jack shows up and he might just be in the way of her landing her dream job at MIT. I hope this one is good. I really did enjoy the love hypothesis but I have heard things that there is quite a lot of repeating themes of fake dating and academic rivals in Ali Hazelwood's books but I will decide what I think when I do read this one. Next up on August 22nd, we have a sequel to Belladonna, which is Foxglove by Adeline Grace. This one is a YA fantasy about a girl who's very close to death. I'm definitely very excited about this one, but to be honest, I really don't like this cover compared to Belladonna's cover. Anyways, in the sequel, there's a new major player in town. 
Fate, who is actually Death's brother. And there's just going to be a whole lot of problems popping up for our characters, especially for Signa. And I'm really excited to see more Death and Signa moments together and to see more growth of Signa's powers and how Fate will play into this as well. Next, we have The Brothers Hawthorne by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, releasing on August 29th. This is like a spin-off standalone book, I think, of the Inheritance Games trilogy, which I really did have fun with, and it's like a YA mystery. And I'm very thrilled about this book releasing because although I really did like Avery, I still really think that Austin Brothers were a little bit more interesting and this book focuses on Jameson and Grace and there's like a new adventure for both of them. My only huge hope for this book is to have more fleshing out of the brothers and let's see how that works out. So this next book has a very vague release date of September 2023 and it is Swordcat Cassandra Clare and this is her debut of being an adult fantasy author and I'm very excited to see what this one is about. I'll read out the blur because there's actually no official cover just yet. So this one is a tale of a young man raised to be the body double for an unworthy prince. A young woman destined to change the world and a host of other characters, criminals, princes, magicians, and warriors. Very interested and super excited to see how Cassie Clare does expand her writing into an adult fantasy style. I'm just hoping that it will be amazing. And another book without an official release date but on Goodreads it says it will release in 2023 and this is the Threads of Power series by V.E. Schwab. This is another spin-off series of the Shades of Magic trilogy. The only thing that we know about this book so far is that we have a new cast of characters as well as some of the old characters from the Shades of Magic trilogy appearing in this new one. I absolutely love that first trilogy and that's actually one of my goals in 2023 is to reread this series and in general just to finish off some series that I have started but not picked up any of the sequels. I'm very very excited to see what will happen with this Threads of Power book. And we've reached the end of this list of all the books that I need my hands on but I'm okay with waiting. I hope you found a book or two to add to your own TBR and comment down below what you're excited for in 2023. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and also ring the notification bell to not miss any future uploads. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!